I've got some BMW news for you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Denver. I'm a client advisor here at Parkview BMW in Toronto, Canada. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the 2024 X6. Now this car is going into production for March, a lot ahead of time over the normal July switchover. That's because we're getting the facelift. So the X6 getting a whole new makeover. So the same chassis, but you know, different front bumper, rear bumper, exhaust, and the inside we're gonna have iDrive 8 system. And, and we now have an M60 variant instead of an M50 because we're getting that new S68 engine engine instead of the old N63 engine. So we're going to go through the retail ordering guide for you guys, you know, all the pricing here in Canada. Before we do, please smash the like button, helps you out my channel tremendously. Consider subscribing. All right, let's get into the numbers. Okay, so this is the first page on the ordering guide. So the X6 is going to have two variants. We have the 40i with the B58 engine and the M60 with that new S68 engine. Now the startup production is for April 1st of 2023 for the new X6 model. Now let's move on to the next page of the product bulletin. So first thing I want to start talking about is the base MSRP. It did receive a pretty significant increase in the base MSRP. Last year, the 40i base MSRP was $86,800. So now at 92,000, that's a price increase of $5,200 and the M60, taking over the M50 position had a $7,100 increase now coming in at $108,000. Now, as far as the paints goes, paint price was actually decreased. So Tanzanite blue, the Aventurin red, Amaterine and Dravite gray were all $1,450 last year. Now they're only $1,000, but on the top end, frozen paints, frozen individual paints are now $6,000 versus $4,900. Now moving into the upholstery, Looks like they added one additional Santa Fin option. So we now have Decor Red and Black Santa Fin as a new no charge option. The Merino leathers stay pretty much the same. They did remove the option for an ivory white and night blue and replaced it with a full Merino ivory white slash Atlas gray. They also took away the discounted price for full Merino when you have the excellence package. So now no matter what, full Merino leather is gonna be $5,900. Now, as for the essential package, it looks like that actually decreased by $500. So it's only 5,000 now versus 5,500. There was some small adjustments. Lumbar support was removed from the package because it's now a standard feature. The four zone climate control from last year has moved into the enhanced package, which we'll get to soon. The 5DW Parking Assistant Professional does replace the Parking Assistant Plus with Surround View System. So it's basically the new system operating on iDrive 8. Harmony Kardon Sound System was added from the enhanced package, brought down into the essential package. And the wireless charging tray is no longer a standalone option and comes part of the essential package. The premium enhanced package did decrease in price by $700 from last year. They did remove air suspension is no longer part of this package, but they did add in the adaptive LED lights and the air suspension is now just a standalone option. The excellence package decreased by $200, but stays almost the exact same. The only thing removed from this is the fact that the full Merino leather, it used to cut it down by like $2,500. Now you're still paying full price for full Merino, even when you have excellence. The M carbon exterior package is only available on the M60 variant now, no longer an option for the M40. And it is now $2,300, where last year it was only $1,550. So that's a difference there. Then there's also a missing off-road package which basically had the M Sport differential in it. That's just no longer an option. We do have a new package called M Sport Pro package. Now, almost all this stuff was standard features last year, except for the shadow line headlights and high gloss black exterior content, uh, as well as the illuminated kidney grill. Basically, the M Sport Pro package adds in the M Sport exhaust system, which was standard, and then also the illuminated kidney grill, the black kidney grill, the shadow line headlights, and either the red brakes. Basically, if you want the red brakes or you want the exterior black content that you're only going to be able to get that with the M Sport Pro package now. The advanced driver's assistance package is $500 more than it was last year and it just comes with the new version system of iDrive 8 allowing you to be hands-free up to 130 kilometers per hour now where on the last generation of iDrive 7 this was only up to 60 kilometers per hour. Now the next part of the ordering guide starts to go into the standalone options that you can add onto the vehicle. All of these are just wheel options, so I'm just gonna skip past that. The one at the bottom here, Integral Active Rear Wheel Steering is now a $2,000 option on the 40 and standard on the M60. Where last year it was a $2,000 option on both variants. 
Now, as far as the rest of these standalone features that you can add, looks like everything is pretty much staying the same with a couple items removed. Like I said, red M Sport brakes are no longer a standalone option. Looks like we have a couple new trims like the line wood brown open pour wood trim. There's no longer an option for having satin aluminum window surrounds. So looks like overall, most of these things have stayed the same with just a couple items removed from last year. The very bottom of the ordering guide, you'll see frozen paintwork is now $6,000 and the individual paintwork is $5,000. Both of these increasing $1,100 from last year. Then we start to get into the standard features. Looks like the wheels are staying standard. We do have new wood trims on the inside instead of aluminum trims. And you will see the BMW curved display screen and operating eight system is going to be standard. But it looks like everything else has pretty much stayed the exact same. Okay, so we're almost through the ordering guide. The last little bit is just going to show you what the wheel options are, the tire size. The top one, the 915Ms are new, as well as the 747Ms are new, as well as the 745 individual wheels. Those are all new wheel options to the facelift X6. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you're in the marketplace for BMW in Toronto, feel free to send me an email down below and I'll help you guys out. If you want to order an X6, I can certainly help you guys out through that process. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, please smash the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for future BMW news. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video.